This is an 8 days old soy milk drink and will last for the next 3 months without spoilage and still retain all the organoleptic properties of a soy beverage like taste, flavor and milk consistency. Mm. No freezing is required, no additive and no preservative. Wow! In case you've given up in soy milking businesses due to loss of capital associated with easy milk spoilage, all you need is to watch this video as I treat all soy milking spoilage for cups. <laughs> and if you stick to this video, you will learn my one hand water bath sterilization of pet bottles and my life saving trips and tricks towards a natural soy milk beverage preservation. And I tell you, you will like it. In Salpest Kitchen, we bring you food problem solving recipes, lucrative commercial food products for business, we enhance your understanding of the already existing food preparation method. All these from the creative mind point of view. So keep watching, keep learning, keep subscribing and keep liking. Like. <laughs> Unlike other beverages, the over alarming nature and manner of spoilages that occur in soy milk beverage is alarming. Today, I want us to aggressively address it and send such spoilages to wherever they come from. Now, before we prefer solution to this easy milk spoilage problem, let's find out what actually causes this spoilage in the first place this is so important because a problem well known is half solved we all know that soy milk is a nutrient rich medium and as such supports the growth of microorganisms such as bacteria yeast and mold now how do these microorganisms find their ways into your soy milk let me tell you microorganisms are ubiquitous meaning they are found everywhere and as such can always find their way into your soy milk no matter how careful you are or how neat you might seem to be additionally soy milk contains natural enzymes like lipase protease and amylase which are capable of breaking down the nutrient components of the milk leading to spoilage in other words, soy milk is capable of spoiling on its own, even without you being the cause of the spoilage, neither voting for it. And that is the reason why some of you, your soy milk spoiled at the point of processing or shortly in the fridge after processing. But the good news is all this spoilage nonsense can be put to an end using either a natural means or a synthetic means. In this video, we will talk about the natural means and in another video, we will talk about the synthetic means. And with the natural means, your soy milk can stand in a chiller or under a refrigeration temperature for up to three months without any problem. During this period, you do no longer need to freeze it and even when frozen, it can also dissolve back into your soy milk drink without having any particles or lumps. Mm. Isn't that amazing? And your soy milk drink will still retain its sensory properties like the taste, the flavor, the color, the consistency. Every organoleptic properties of a good soy milk product till the end of the proposed shelf life. Mmm, that sounds so amazing, right? Now let's begin in now. Pour some water into a clean pot and allow to heat up up to 63 to 65 degrees Celsius or its Fahrenheit equivalent. Now our aim here is to sterilize our packaging pet bottles, destroy any form of microbes that might come closer. Permit me to say that this natural method of preservation apparently involves two practical steps. That is, sterilization of your packaging pet bottles and pasteurization of your soy milk beverage. So cover your pot as we increase the temperature of the water. 
Now in a separate bowl, pour in some clean water. Let's begin to rinse our pet bottles. Yeah, we are just rinsing because our pet bottles are not dirty at all. But if you are using a recycled, dirty or dusty pet bottles, please consider washing out with soap and rinsing with a clean water. And if there are old labels from your recycled bottles, please consider peeling them up. And don't forget to wash your bottle covers as well as any other device you might be using in the process. Now to our already heating water on the stove, we have to insert thermometer in order to ascertain the exact temperature at this point. 50 degrees C. So we're gonna cover the pot and allow the temperature to rise up the more, up to 63 to 65 degrees C. So we keep checking until we get what we want. Now, if you are new to thermometer, it is simply a device used in determining the degree of hotness or coldness of a given medium. In this case, we are using the thermometer to determine the temperature of our sterilizing medium, which is the water. So at this point, it is almost 60 degrees C. Begin to add your pet bottles, your pickers, your bottle covers, and any other device that you might be using at the course of this processing. And in case you don't have thermometer, you can still do this effectively. Just allow your temperature of the water to heat up as if you want to drink tea or the exact temperature you can always use to treat wound. But please and please, your water must not boil. I repeat, your water must not boil. Yes, let it be very hot but must not boil because if it boils it's gonna destroy your pet bottles and you don't want that so all you're gonna do is to allow your pet bottles to be immersed in the water then reconfirm your temperature to be within the recommended range of 63 to 65 degrees centigrade after which you can turn off your heat from the heat source or your stove cover your lid and allow the immense bottle to sit on the water bath for 30 good minutes then while we are doing that let me quickly educate you on pet bottles recommendations for sterilization now while picking your bottles in the market for this purpose always ensure that your bottles is strong refined and crystalline a crystalline bottle is the one that has a shiny or glass like look just like the one we are using in this video the higher the crystallinity of your pet bottles the higher the strength of the bottle and the higher the heat resistance ability of that bottle is that understood so don't go to the market and pick a pequara pequara bottles please <laughs> and if you are gaining value please bless me with a like okay let's keep moving and if you've not subscribed please do that and god will bless you so after 30 minutes i picked out my bottles out of the hot water and then set it aside to cool down that marks the end of the sterilization process now we move to the second stage which is the pasteurization of our soy milk beverage now begin the process by sieving the already prepared soy milk beverage this is so important as it helps to eliminate all forms of lumps and particles and we facilitate evenly heat distribution round about the soy milk beverage during pasteurization. Note that at this stage of soy milk production, both the sweetness and the flavors has been added. And the soy milk has also been diluted to the desired milk consistency. But wait, do you know I have a special soy milking ability? Yes, I am good in soy milk production. I have thick soy milk recipe and I also have zero waste chaff. Both videos are standard recommendations for you, most especially if it is for business papers. And I know you will like to learn from a professional, so do well to check it out in the comment section or in the description box as the case may be, okay? Thank you.
So after sieving, the milk was transferred with the pot to the stove. Of course, our stove is on right now. We are going to raise the temperature of this soy milk to a pasteurization temperature of about 72 to 75 degrees Celsius. Again, if you don't have thermometer, you can bring it close to a boil, but must not boil, okay? Then, while that is cooking, you have to inspect your bottle at this point to ensure that there is no leakage or any damage done at the cause of the sterilization. So let's check our drink. Even without inserting thermometer, you can tell that this milk is close to a boil. So what you will do is to quickly turn off the heat and cover the pots to pasteurize. And if you are using thermometer, your accuracy is certain. So insert your thermometer and allow it to read up to 75 degrees C, after which you turn off your heat and then allow the drink to pasteurize for 30 minutes before we move in to the next step. Oh, this is even more than 80 degrees C. Please quickly turn it off and then cover your pot and allow to sit in there for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I checked the temperature of the milk and it was still very much intact and in order. So that means our drink is well pasteurized. So I'm gonna take this off the heat and then do what is called rapid cooling. The rapid cooling is essential because it quickly shortens the time needed to activate the enzymic operations. So this is an ice cold water. I'll place the already pasteurized milk into the ice cold water and then follow up with a constant stirring to distract the enzymic activity and to facilitate the fast cooling of the milk. After cooling, check the temperature to ensure that it is below 30 degrees C, under which the enzymic activity is at minimal. This rapid cooling can take up to an hour to be completed. Always get your eyes ready. Now it is time for packaging. And to do that, fill in your pasteurized soy milk beverage into a sterilized bottle and seal with the lid. Why bottling? Always endeavor to maintain an airspace. Yeah, do not fill to the brim, but maintain a little space close to the neck of the bottle for the purpose of an air space. And with this treatment, your soy milk beverage is qualified to stand in a chiller or under a refrigeration temperature for three months. And guess what? We are done. Yay, we are done. But before we go, here is a recap and my advice for you. We record that the two major agents of spoilage in soy milk drinks are microorganisms which uses the soy milk as a medium for growth and inherent soybean enzymes that break down the nutrient molecules of the soybean milk to cause spoilage. And to solve this problem, we used a pasteurization method which was able to kill the spoilage organisms and deactivated all enzymic activities. Having known this, here is my advice. From today, never you produce a soy milk drink without pasteurization. In fact, your soy milk production is not completed until you pasteurize. Again, Always ensure that your food processing surroundings are clean and don't forget to sterilize all your equipment, devices, packaging containers to avoid microbial contamination and growth in your soy milk. Additionally, never you package and refrigerate your processed soy milk drink in a big quantity 
instead split them into a smaller portions like 35 cl 50 cl and at most one liter container so that it can get cold fast and shorten the time needed for enzymic activity to occur remember pasteurization does not eradicate enzymes it only deactivates them furthermore always be mindful of the temperature of your soy milk drink during processing you see both enzymes and microbes thrive at the ambient temperature within the range of 30 to 45 degrees c so do everything you can to ensure that you are not processing your soy milk under such temperature it can be very dangerous but if for any reason do not allow such temperature for a longer period of time you can always lower your temperature with ice cold water during processing finally during processing endeavor to boil your soybean seed before grinding to prevent milk spoilage during milking especially if you are using a public or commercial grinding machine yeah more tips and tricks are coming your way in our next episode of tiger knot production and preservation video i know you can't wait <laughs> please endeavor to subscribe to this channel and turn the notification bell for updates thanks for watching Oh, 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 oh,